side. This uh, probe goes on the other incision over here. Then we look at the screen. This is what we have in the screen. We have what's called a bucket handle tear. This structure right here that's soft is between the two bones of the knee, but it's not supposed to be here. And as you can see, it's got a rainbow shape to it. Uh, it's actually a, the medial meniscus and it's supposed to be over there. See, you can see the rip right there. This is called a bucket handle meniscus tear. What happens with these people is when they hurt their knee, they twist it. Uh, like when they get their ACL tear, the meniscus does this, watch. Pop, and now the meniscus is in the notch. So once it's in the notch, like the way it is right there, come over here and look down, see what happens as the patient tries to extend the knee, the meniscus blocks extension. Can you see the monitor up there? See how the meniscus is blocking extension? So patients will then uh, not be able to fully extend their knee. So once again, pop, meniscus uh, displaces. It's supposed to be over there. It rips, pops, pops into the knee. Now the patient cannot extend and what happens over time, this thing keeps going back and forth like this and they feel painful clicking and catching and locking and that's how they usually present. Okay, so so far I've got it locked in towards the front. I already have one back there. Reducing the bucket handle medium meniscus repair. That's just uh, two of the many sutures we're going to be putting in here to reattach this, uh, this uh, meniscus back to that capsule. Thank you. bucket handle tear so I slide in two needles one above one below one needle has a, a metal a wire like loop the other needles being fed a blue suture the blue suture will be left in the loop then the loop will be closed up and it's going to capture the blue suture. Low, the inferior needle is removed so it doesn't cause any damage. And then the loop is pulled out like this. And see what's going to happen is that blue loop is going to be replaced with a more permanent suture. And that more permanent suture is going to do some of the final closing up of this meniscus tear. Here you go, there's that gap. You see, I'm gonna put in a couple of these sutures like this. It won't be the blue suture, it will be a braided suture. Do you see what it's gonna do? It's gonna close it up like that, bring it up against a nice bleeding tissue right there. This is called an outside-in repair using the Smith & Nephew Menders. And I already did some all-inside Suture, uh, suturing or meniscus suturing over there. Dr. Moore here showing you bucket handle repair. You guys take care. Have a great day. Thanks. Once again, recap all inside suture technique means that the suture implants are, or the sutures are placed on the inside of the joint. The implants go inside the joint, tied inside the joint. Outside it means you make a small incision outside of the knee, pass the sutures through the meniscus by using those, uh, those um, uh, needles that I showed and the knots are actually tied outside of the knee. This is Dr. Moore showing you a bucket handle meniscus repair. You guys take care, thank you.